Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is the level 15 quest for the Rogue Quest line in Final Fantasy XIV. I get throwing dagger from this. It's amazing. Jack wishes us to bring you in on a tricky assignment. Ah, Katarina, just the mort I was hoping to see. We've got some nasty trouble brewing. The client's on his way, so sit tight and pay attention. I'm calling underfoot. And the stray in on this one as well. It'll be a right little rogue family reunion. Good, good. Jack, the client's arrived. Our guest here has come from Maelstrom Command with confidential orders direct from the Admiral herself, so you know this won't be a simple job. I'm afraid your Guildmaster speaks truly. To us several days ago when an emasimated man stumbled into one of our camps seeking aid. Upon questioning the poor fellow we discovered that, had ne that he had narrowly escaped a life of slavery. He claimed that pirates had raided his village, abducted him and many others to sell on a black market auction block. We dispatched a troll to confirm the tale and found the village almost completely destroyed. It was a meager settlement without so much as a guardhouse. Thus did its unkind fate escape our notice until now. You'd think these pirates never seen or never even heard of the code pillaging honest coals and dipping their wicks in the slave trade they're headed the right way for a good stabbing aye though it ain't set down in so many wids the code's notoriously unforgiving against those as raise weapons against the weak after all the pirates in these parts recalls what was fleeing oppression in the northern seas ignore your history and your risk becoming what it was ye hated most so, you've a mark for us then? That we do. From the descriptions given to us by the escaped villager, we've determined that these lawbreakers are members of the Jolly Merchants, a pirate crew in possession of an official privateering license. It would appear, however, that privateering has been not but a screen behind which to hide their illicit activities. One can only imagine how many other Luminson citizens have fallen prey to these wicked slavers. And we've let it happen right under our very noses. Naturally, the Admiral desires a swift resolution to this ignominy, or ignominy, but merely tracking down those poor souls who have already been sold is proving heavily taxing to our allocated resources. We could throw more soldiers at the problem, but that runs the risk of drawing the small folk's attention and inciting undue panic. Thus we... Thus do we come to the Rogues Guild for help. We ask that you eliminate the Jolly Merchants and liberate the villagers presently in their custody and that you do so with the utmost discretion. Consider it done. When those nasty coves will feel our short blades pricking into their backs, they'll enjoy but a brief moment of regret before the code is rightly enforced. Alright, let's get to work. I'll be going after the Jolly Merchants myself. Underfoot, Vakab. You two lend your skills to the Maelstrom's investigation and see what you can will about the calls that have already been sold. Katarina, you're coming with me. I think you're ready for the next step of your education. Something was apparently dancing around behind me. Okay. Nope. Yes. Shall we get after these slaving cutthroats then? Our client told me that the Jolly Merchantman set sail from Alport a few bells ago. Oh, aye, they might even board an Imperial ship or two, but that's just some mummery they're putting on to amuse the Admiral's swads. I'd reckon the rest of the crew'd be back on land looking to snap the shackles on a fresh herd of chattel, and just to prove me theory right, one of them jolly bastards got himself spotted creeping around the Roughmans in Lower Lenoshka. There's been a cove over at the Morby Dry Docks by the name of Swarsen, and that's where they'll likely know the full story. He's more of a shipwright than a rogue these days, but he keeps his glazes keen for the guild. Head over and you'll have yourself a prattle and I'll join ye soon like. So, at the Morby Dry Docks. Do 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 do. And if you've been keeping tabs on the times on the clocks in these videos, I'm making 
decent time on levels. There are people who have been leveling faster than me, but... Meh. I did get a pretty good spike. One of my friends came on and just basically destroyed leave quests for me for an hour or so. I I know what you are. What can old Swarsen do for you? Hunting down jolly merchant slavers. Ah, well that explains a few things. I was keeping an eye on the bustle about the dry docks, you see, when I spied an odd trio off in the distance. This rough-looking sod, one of your pirates, I'd wager, was prodding along another bloke and this poor skinny lass. I've seen whipped curs less miserable than the two being herded. Last I saw, they were headed south. If what you're saying about the slavery business is true, then that jolly mer merchant's not going to walk his charges all the way to the market. No, he likely has a boat waiting for him. And if I were a slaver headed south, my vessel would be hidden somewhere in the s along the salt strand. That doesn't leave you much time. You said Jack was on his way, yes? You'd best go on ahead. I'll point him in the right direction when he gets here. So, I need to go... over there. One of the uh, cool bonuses I got from my traits is reduced damage when falling. Fun fun. And, in case anybody's ever looking at this video and is curious, you cannot use goad on yourself. Wah, wah. The good news is, is I'll basically be able to spam it, well, roughly halfway through a boss fight or something, and I could throw it on a tank, and I'll keep their enmity going. I am curious as to whether or not rogues are balanced in the DPS department, but there's future investigation to be had for that one. Whee! Really? No fall damage? I like this trade already. Destination. Sourcing came through for us, eh? Now what do we got here? This one looks a charmer. Sudden move, I told ye. Me peg-legged grandma obbles quicker, quicker than you miserable sex of shite. Or maybe you need another thrashing, is that it? You already forgot what happens when ye try me generous patience? I'm sorry. Ple please, no more beatings. We walked as fast as we could, but we need food. Water. Then get in the boat and shut your traps. You'll get, you'll get fed when we reach the other side. The other side? Where are you taking us? Are you challenging me? We're just plain daft. I told you to keep your bleating mouth shut. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Leviathan's scaly are she's weeping again. Listen, we're headed to Aleport, all right? That's where me and me shipmates gather to take stock of the merchandise and decide what gets sold where. You see some buyers, one only lads, while others looking for lasses. As long as we keep these rich bastards happy, we make more coin than we ever did scrapping with the Empire's war galleys. Not that I, not that you care about that, I suppose. What matters to you is that ye'll be loaded onto the jolly merchantman, sailed off to God knows where, and Limsa will be a distant memory. So if I was you, I'd fill that empty belly with one last big gobful of sweet Lenotian sea breeze. I'm sort of tempted to put a blade twixt his eyes here and now, but that won't get the job done. Now we'll let him guide us to his mates in Aleport, then we'll mill the whole bloody lot of them. The jolly merchants will get their due, don't ye worry about that. They've gone. We best hurry to Aleport, unless you've got a quicker way. There's a ferry that leaves from Candlekeep Quay. I'll meet you across the water, lass. Well. I do have a quicker way. To raise that point. Aetherite teleporting is fun. Okay, down on the docks, down on the docks. Uh, this zone is a bit of a graphically laggy mess at the moment because with rogues being and 
well, a Limsa guild, that means that everybody's here. Fun. Okay. Katarina, that jolly merchant cove's still with his captive. Seems they've taken a room taken a room under an alias. Hmm. <laughs> Hiding their operation in plain sight. Bold as brass, eh? But it's or uh, bold as brass, aye, but it's coal but it's an old slaver's trick. See, even if some coal recognizes the merchandise, only a single handler gets boned. The rest of the crew just whistles all innocent like while their mate is marched off to cry cockles. And ye can Bet they've threatened bloody murder for any prisoner what raises a, a hue and cry. Patient now, lass. We'll just wait until we're sure that all these black guards have arrived. Meanwhile, you better sharpen your stabbers. We've got a busy night ahead of us. Ready for the job, then? Once the jolly merchants are all here, we'll ambush the suds and set their captives free. If your level is about 19, we'll be saved. Well, my level's not above 19. It'll be 20 once I finish this quest, though. That ought to be long enough. We'll have... We'll have, just have to hope there ain't any stragglers. Listen closely now, lass. The merchants are disguised as plain old adventurers and have settled themselves in three separate rooms here at Aleport. How do we whittle which coves are the merchants? Easy. Take a look at the daddles of binging, swilling cull over yonder. He's wearing lavender gloves, the exact same type what that nasty sod at the Salt Strand had on. That'll be how they'll find each other in a crowd. Of course, that's how I whittled where each of the bastards was staying. Just snilch the hopeless glazes of the company they keep, and you can be sure you found your mark. So here's the job all laid out for ye. We hit all three commons rooms, mill the merchants quick and dirty like, and get those captives their bleeding lives back, alright? Oi, the storeroom door's been forced open again. Some thieving sod's been at the ale. Well, they can't have gotten far. Better get the lads and do a sweep of the port. Uh, that was the Merchant Cove's gulping pilfered ale. You'd think they'd be doing the best not to draw attention to themselves, all things considered. Bloody oafs. And now we've got a swarm of yellow jackets buzzing about, looking for blood. If they spot us wandering around in the Darkmans, I have a feeling they'll ask first and ask questions later. It'd be best then if the patrols never even knew we was here. We'll slip sneakies we can to each of the common rooms and use them, them telltale lavender gloves to identify our marks. There's innocent coals in there as well, mine, so try not to stab any as don't deserve it, eh? Once you're sure of your target, hit them hard and fast. We ain't looking for a fair fight. If you see an opening, finish them off, and with that, mm, ugh, and with that move, what the Colts like to call assassinate. Bit dramatic for my taste, but dead is dead, no matter what you name it. Hmm. I'm thinking we should head out one, one at a time to better avoid them yellow jackets. So I'll let you take the lead. After you, Katarina. In case anybody's curious, the name of my character is Katarina Kutu. And yes, that is a League of Legends reference. Uh, right. So... Where exactly am I going? Okay. Boom, put a bum. Saved one Lullafell. So, 
I don't really know which are where. I'm just assuming I go in the doors and just look for the guys with purple gloves. Okay, there's one person with purple gloves. Nobody else start a panic. You hear? Alright. I wish to spend my. Oh, I have two bonus points. Okay, I just got level synced from that, but that's fine. In here, maybe? Okay, I do have to free them individually. These are the two that were ferried under that boat in the Salt Strand, I believe. Hey, Jack. That looks to be the last of them, and you didn't even need my help. Back into the shadows, lass. Hands off the merchandise. Ain't no one cuts into our profits. Duty complete. Your level is no longer synced. Okay, what do you have to say, Jack? Not a bad night's work, eh, Katarina? The maelstrom will be taking care of them poor coals we freed, and I made sure none of the merchants... We downed our like to get up again. As for the jolly merchantman, well, her crew can expect a visit from the Admiral's finest galleys, and it won't be for tea and crumpets on the poop deck. Right, me natty lass, our part is in this is done. Time to head back to the sisters. Oh, hello. Excuse me, are the ones who freed us? I there was something else we could do for you, miss? The Maelstrom Swads came to take you home, if that's what you're worried about. Oh, no, 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 I know. I just wanted to thank you. If I may, there was one other thing I wished to tell you. Moments before you rescued me, that dreadful pirate was muttering into his cups. It was something about another raiding party that hadn't yet made it back. I beg your pardon? It seems they had been hunting for slaves in western Lenoshka, and being so close to Aleport, our captor assumed they were out rounding up chattel until last bell. I just couldn't bear the thought of anyone else suffering as I had. Please, is there not you can do? There certainly is, miss. Just get yourself safely home and leave this stray pack of jackals to us. We will pray for your sex. success. Thank you again. Looks like we ain't done yet. Heh, <laughs> so much for savoring a victory pint. I'll send word of this development to Underfoot and the Stray. We have some well-earned trade for the last of these jelly merchants. By the by, how's your throwing arm, Katarina? I think it's time... I learned ye how to fling a proper blade. When you're out in the wide open, roughmans, ye often find the need to sting a cove from a distance. And I'm sure a canny lance like yourself figure out will figure out all sorts of uses for a well-thrown dagger. Just keep in mind, keep it 
in mind for when we will hunt down the rest of them slavers. Huh, quest complete. I'm assuming this carries on with level 20 then, because this is right around the time... Level 15 is right around the time the stories start to actually chain into each other and get interesting. But, that's going to have to wait for another time. For now, this needs to go on a bar somewhere. My skill bars are locked, so there's nothing I can do to remove it at the moment. Uh... Mm. Anyhow, I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.